Hey everybody, this is Jason with Preston Street Market. And today I am here with a mystery jewelry unboxing. This is, let me see, uh, almost 10 pounds. It is an 100% mystery. This is a repeat consigner that has sent in this special consignment. She let this shipment be a true mystery. I don't know of one item that's in here. Um, and it's packed really well. So I am excited to see what it is. Um, so if you're new here, we do jewelry unboxings, uh, unbagging, sometimes jars. I source from Goodwill, from local consigners. Um, I own and operate an auction company in Houston, Texas. And I started this channel just out of a love for jewelry. And um, one thing led to another, and I've been consigning for viewers now. So if you're interested in consigning some of your pieces with me, uh, please reach out. My contact information is linked in the description box below. Um, just reach out via email. My email is Preston Street Market. It's Preston st market at gmail.com and unfortunately i cannot open the box on camera because it is huge um i only have a little space to work with here so i am so excited because she knows that uh i love boxes and she sent a lot of boxes i love boxes i love containers oh yo yo and she fixed me up so let's go look at this Ooh, i'm excited can you feel my excitement? And a Ziploc bag, too. Mm. Put that over here. And if you're not new, welcome back. Happy to have you. Happy to be back with you guys. Let's go. Oh, I love little containers. Yep. These will be recycled. I mean, reused, recycled, however you want to call it. Mm. What have we here? Looks like we have sterling. Yes. Oh, there's your 925. So those might be little pave diamonds or there might be CZs, but that's a that's a pretty piece. Cool way to start with some silver. Mmm. That's Beautiful sterling. Pretty sure it's sterling. Let's see. Yep. You can see that R right here. That's Ross Simon. 925. And same thing here. These might be little Pave diamonds or CZs. It's like we have some gold tone. Oh, this is silky. Maybe this is not gold tone. This might be gold. Or it's sterling with gold vermeil. Let's look. Ooh. That's 10K. 10K yellow gold. Well, that's a surprise right there. Beautiful. So silky and smooth. Okay, looks like we have silver. So we see Italy. We see 925. Really high quality silver from Italy. I love the silver from Italy and from Turkey and also from Israel. Actually, I love it from everywhere, but those are my top three favorites. So this is alpaca. Beautiful inlaid um, abalone and onyx in like a fan shape. Really, really like that. these mysteries oh look at those beautiful millefiori earrings oh yeah. and i'm pretty sure those are sterling yep you can see it there see the marking there i'm not going to take them out because i don't want them to get separated okay. 
I'm gonna take one of these out. Mm. Beautiful red, kidney-shaped. These are climbers, or how we refer to them as climbers. Oops. Oops. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep this together. Some gold tone with the mark Trufari. A beautiful gold tone with these like red cabochons. Very pretty set. Beautiful. I think we have amber. Yes, we do. Yeah, when the black light comes, you guys will love this because amber, genuine amber, will glow a very beautiful green color. And I can tell you these are genuine. These are sterling, it's so pretty. Let's see, so we have screw backs. Oh, those are pretty. Got that sort of turquoisey Tiffany blue enameling. That's cute. Oh, and these are very classic. The Hershey's Kiss teardrop earring. And these are usually sterling. Yep, you can see there. You see the post back is marked. Um, yep, you see right there? There's your marking. Sometimes on earrings, it'll be marked on the stem and not even on the um, earring itself. All right. This is fun. My Christmas. And I have containers. Oh, brooches. Yeah, I love brooches. If you've watched other videos, I'm a sucker for a brooch. This is cute. Little toucan enameling. You have some crystals there. That's not signed, but that's okay. People love figurals. Little figural animals. is a nice brush gold tone seems like there's something is that texturing or a mark I guess that's just a rubber texturing can't really see that well with the camera that's pretty a gold tone with these crystals let me just have a look for a moment yeah it's just texturing very pretty. Oh, right there. Ooh, I'm liking what I see already. That's coral. Huh, look at that. I couldn't imagine this being an earring, but I guess it was at one point. That's odd, because that's an earring back. Or I guess it could be a adapter so you could wear it as a pendant and it's got the brooch all signed coro now that's interesting and i like it i like interesting oh that's beautiful look at that etched gold I think this actually might be gold. Oh, 925. See it there, 925, and then there's some kind of marking there, maybe MD. That's beautiful, etched gold. Gold vermeil. This is a pretty ring. Nice faceted stone. Oh, 
There is a signature there. I don't like it. I don't like that 925 the way it looks. But I will test it to confirm whether it is or is not sterling. Either way, it's pretty. This is pretty too. Look at this beauty. So you see that R, that's Ross Simon. 925. Really, really pretty. It's very likely a sapphire. Um, maybe blue and clear. He does use a lot of sapphire. <clears throat> mm, beautiful horn uh, ring. This is vintage for sure. Not sure right away who the maker is, but it's super cool. And I love that cluster there. Very interesting. Oh, that's pretty. A little stone there. You can see it's 925. Butterfingers. Clean that up. It'll look amazing. I'm not sure about that stone, what it is, but it's very pretty. It might be a cat's eye. It might be, it feels not gemstone. It feels like some type of amber or I don't know. That's pretty. All right. Little packages. I love you. Got a note. I'm going to read this uh, independently, uh, privately for a moment, and then I'll share it if it's. Oh, cool. She says, Kremitz, an original box with some of the original paperwork. That's cool. Kermit's was out of New York, if my memory serves me. Whoopsie. Oh, little cultured pearl. So we have these little um, earrings and pe a pen that matches. Oh, and then look. There's the paperwork in the bottom. That's awesome. So these are like enameled and with some little pearls. And those are genuine cultured pearls. That's cute. I'm going to keep you in there. <laughs> we got a box. We got a box. That's a Trafari. That's a beautiful Trafari piece. Really nice enameling and really nice rhinestones. All set in gold tone. It's vintage for sure. Here. Right. Mm. I 
the pretty old earrings, I think. Yes, I do. Oh, these are lovely. So these are like a John Cool and AB coated rhinestone earrings. They're gorgeous, unsigned, but those are beautiful. That jonquil color is so, I know it's probably not coming through as pretty as it is in person. All right. So some Florida Lay. Art. So this is, oh, that's interesting. I've never seen an Arthur Pepper with a design like this. That's cool. Art is Arthur Pepper. That's a crown. You see that crown there? That's Crown Trafari. Ooh. No, those are gorgeous. Those are definitely gorgeous. Now there is some verdigris, but I can try to get most of that off. And the beautiful cabs there in the center. Those are pretty, pretty, pretty. I think we hit the vintage earring box. Vintage earrings, signed earrings, rhinestone earrings are always good. Same with brooches. Signed blinky brooches do very well. That's gorgeous. Oh, these are Vendome. Vendome's a very good designer. Vintage costume designer. Beautiful, beautiful set. <coughs> I like what I see so far. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm surprised again, that's Coro. You guys can see that? These smooth backs, I mean, this feels rhodium plated. Dana, if you're watching or when you watch, let me know if Coro rhodium plated or not, because they sure feel it. Those are really nice, really, really nice. I spy Kramer. I think I do. Beautiful. Lucite beading. And yes, I spied Kramer. Those are stunning. Good vintage. Good, good, good vintage. <clears throat> so the Joan Rivers box. Don't know if there's Joan Rivers inside of it, but we're soon going to find out. And it is Joan Rivers Classic Collection, like a gift necklace. And it's still got its little paper, its little card. Joan Rivers never seems to go out of style. Um, her pieces do very, very well for, for me, usually. boxes. Gorgeous. Now that's sterling as we can see. Beautiful sterling marcasite and gemstones. That's beautiful. And don't worry about sending things. Don't worry about polishing them, etc. etc. Because I do it anyway. So alright. So she's got UV reactive on 
this set, and we're gonna talk about UV, UV reaction. This is beautiful. So these are plastic, like a lucite. It's very West Germany by that backing. Now, most all plastics, not all of them, but most old plastics will glow. That does not mean that they are um, uranium. Um, uranium is mostly found in glass, um, but a lot of plastics will glow. Also, pearls can glow, even real ones. Um, turquoise can glow. So um, these, while they are extremely beautiful, there is no uranium in, in here at all. Um, maybe a fluorescence from the texturing. I don't know why it's there. I'm not a scientist, but I do know that plastics do not contain UV. Uh, but they do react beautifully to a black light. And I have one on order for home. I have them, of course, at my office, and it's... It's too hard to bring things, my supplies from my office to here, to home, because we need them and the, the staff needs them on a daily basis. So these are gorgeous. These are glass. That's glass. And she's saying they're Kramer. Oh, there we go. Kramer of New York. Those are stunning. That's a really nice set. I see another beauty. I see another beautiful pair of earrings. Yes, I do. Let's see. And vein and vein. Huh. These are beautiful cluster earrings and they are in really good shape. And these are old. These are in fantastic shape. I like already. Before I can even see anything, I'm in love. Beautiful gold tone. There's the backings. Not seeing any marks, but that's okay because look at that. Those are fabulous. Little cabochons. Very kind of Renaissance revival-ish. Now these look good. These look real good. Those are wise. Very nice, so there is some verdigris. I'll get that cleaned off best I can. And ooh, those are pretty. Gorgeous blue rhinestones. You can't ask for more than that. All right, Merino. That's a good brand. I think it's Italian. I could be wrong. Beautiful gold tone um, earrings. Uh-oh. I do have padding under my table. It probably sounds louder than it actually is. And the camera definitely illuminates sounds. So don't come for me about me dropping people's story because it's safe. All right, Duplays. I don't know how to properly say that name, but these are fun. Those are very chunky, sort of lucite earrings. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm already liking these. Lion's head, door knocker earrings. If you know me, you know I look at the back first. Ah, oh, KJL. So this is Kenneth J. Lane for Avon. Ooh, lion's head, door knocker earrings, and little crystal eyes. These are in great shape. I'll buff them up. So take off the fingerprints and make them shine. Those are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Be 
These are buttes. Beautiful faceted crystals. Loving it. Beautiful, beautiful set. Great shape too. Mystery box. Pieces I have questions about. All right, let's do this one. This sounds fun. <clears throat> okay, what did I do? There it is. Read these off camera just in case there's a note just for me. Okay. Tangle. Oh, Tangle Magnet. <laughs> so, history on this piece seems a little off. It says it's Trafari. Okay, let's give it a look. Okay, yep. Yeah. So this is Crown Trafari. So this is um this is this is a true Crown Trafari piece. I don't know if these were reissues or what, but I have seen them a lot more and they're of very very good quality. So that is like a Crown Trafari mark that is not the Crown. Well, it is kind of the Crown Trafari mark, but I don't believe that this is from that actual time period. So maybe they re-released. I don't honestly know, but that is actual Trafari. Crown Trafari. Let me see. Okay. She's saying, could this possibly be coral? And it most definitely is coral. It might be set with sterling, might not be. This piece is definitely giving me sterling vibes. It's definitely, I would say vintage. This toggle is not so much vintage. Um, these two don't necessarily match, so the toggle could have been added later. But I think it has a little bit of age to it. It's definitely um, coral and definitely beautiful. She thinks this is just costume. That's pretty. And I think she's right. Costume. I'll test it just to make sure. I always test everything. For, it's my job and my duty to do so. All right. So the coloring, sometimes that happens with age. Um, these are glass. Yeah, you hear? Those are glass pearls. Nothing wrong with that. Set in like a silver tone. And they're, they're nice, they definitely have age. And sometimes these glass ones will age, I mean, will turn that sort of yellowy color with age. Telling us that one is marked, but she's not sure what it means. Also, not sure on condition, not familiar with braided metals. So, right offhand, this is looking like an al type of alpaca, maybe. Which, alpaca has no silver content. It's just an alloy, from my understanding. I actually think that this is sterling. It's coming across on the camera. It looks a little bit yellowed, but I think this is old old silver. It's very smooth and very pliable. Um, this guy. All 
right, that says Mexico. So I would definitely, oh, this is very pliable as well. So this is either going to be an alpaca or, huh, very likely going to be alpaca, but I'll test it and see. And I will email you and let you know what I find out. But there we go. I think this is silver. This is of better quality and it just feels better. So that's a fun one. are coro so those are vintage ones little screw backs and those rhinestones are gorgeous wait why does something look off something looks very off to me what the heck maybe it's just my eyes it's like something's disproportionate yeah that's interesting very interesting. I thought it was my eyes, but it is a little bit crooked. So, that's cutie. Oh, this looks like Siam. Ty Sterling. Dancer earrings. Clip-ons. Yep. This one's not marked, but I know that these are Siam. Huh. They're almost always marked, but um, I'm definitely sure of what they are. I'll test them to make sure. That's a 30. Oh, looks like we have a little Demi. Demi Perur. My favorite word, not. Let's look at the brooch first. What do you say? What in the world? Huh. I have no idea who that is, but that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then here's the earrings that match. All right, so interesting mark. Of course, I will figure out who this is, but if any of you know, drop it in the comments because that's a cool piece. It's definitely old. You can see by how far that sticks out. Beautiful little set. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. And I love it already. Like a brand new baby. You love it automatically. And I love you automatically. Beautiful brooch. Austrian, I think, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, Austria. Look at you. So pretty. So delicate. And a really, really striking color. I hope it's coming through good. Mm 
Another pretty brooch. Mark TM. Do I know who that is? I do not. Let's look at it. This pen. Because I will stab myself if I don't. See how on more modern pieces the pens don't stick out as much? So... I'm not seeing a TM anywhere. Am I blind? Maybe it's on a stem? No. My first instinct, if it's TM, would be like a source code for Avon. You guys are probably seeing it like, hello, hello, look here, look here. But I don't see anything. But that's a gorgeous brooch. Really pretty brooch. Dimensional. Oh, and this one's heavy. This is a heavy guy here. faceted crystal multi-layer two two strand it's not marked but that's okay gorgeous gorgeous beautiful glass faceted glass <laughs> little flamingo figurals people always love the figural animal brooches This one's definitely more modern. Good way to tell is by that pen. The older brooches, the pen stick out much further. But he is gorgeous. Nice enamel work, rhinestones. Beautiful little flamingo. Mm. Okay, she says rare set two piece. Let's see by whom this is. So this is Crown Trafari. Crown Trafari. These are some acrylic. Made to kind of look like a jade or a chalcedony. And ooh, this bracelet's super heavy. Very heavy. I don't know that this set would be considered rare. Um, but I could be sticking my foot in my mouth and maybe it's extremely rare but I feel like I've seen these before in different colors um so I don't know what makes them extremely or makes them rare but if it is I will find out for sure it's got really good stretch interesting nice little demi we've got there I'm gonna open these two boxes and then we'll break and come back with a part two because there is a lot. There's a lot to uncover. Ooh, she sent me more plastic dishes. My love, I hope you don't want them back because hmm, you know I love my containers. But I'll ship them back to you if you want them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, do you see through the bubble wrap? I can tell you right now that this is Juliana. I can 100% tell you this is Juliana. I don't know the reference number yet, but by the time this hits auction, you will know it. 
So there's your figure eights right there, the figure eight puddling. This is actually, I think, what they would call a triple figure eight. Pen stop is right. Open bezel back. Oh yeah, this is Juliana. Very beautiful, classic Juliana. Look how gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely stunning. And uh, do we have earrings to match? We do. Look at this. came out. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Now I will sell these as a set. Beautiful, beautiful Juliana set. A little Demi Perer. You've got that beautiful AB. That's so stunning. I'll have the reference number in the listing once this hits auction. Oh my gosh, another one. This is Juliana also. Wow. Oh my gosh, let's do the back first. All right, so there's the figure eight pedaling, pedaling, however you say. There's the pen stop, open bezel back, 100% signs of Juliana. I know I've seen this one before, so I know that it is Juliana. Um, I'll put the reference number with the auction once it goes live, and it looks like, yep. She's got earrings to match. Definitely it's got good taste for sure in jewelry. So wait till you see these earrings. They're stunning. The earrings are absolutely to die for. I like to open these when they're taped like this off camera because the jewelry police will tell me I'm being too rough. But sometimes it's taped so good that Gotta manhandle it a little bit. Look at these beauties. Now there is some verdigris. I will do my best. I don't see any on the brooch, but I'm seeing some, uh, but I'll do my best to get that up. But let's look at these beauties. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really, really stunning. Uh, Oh, I was about to say, I think it's broke, but it's not. It is. No, it's not. There's the stem. Okay. Want to make sure. So another stunning Juliana. Now that's a way to end a video right there. That's the definite way to end a video. So we're going to take a pause and I'll come, excuse me, I'll come back with part two. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you're interested in consigning jewelry with me, please reach out. My contact information is in the description box below. The jewelry that I've shown you um, in this video today is a perfect example of the things that my customers like and buy. Um, and uh, if you're interested in purchasing anything that you've seen in this video, the link to my weekly auction is um, posted in the description box below. Usually when this video is released, the auction is running. That way you guys can quickly go in and pick your merchandise. If you see this video after about a week, it's probably gone. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.